Yo, <clears throat> what's up? It's Nick here with Living Rich, and <clears throat> I was just about to go to bed when I decided that what I was thinking about was something that I wanted to put on a video, and now I'm here putting it on a video. I want you to think about a time you were feeling really good. And the way you looked at the world when you felt really good, the way you looked at all your challenges when you felt really good, how did they seem? Were you grateful for them? Were you like, ah, yes, I appreciate this. This serves a function in my life. <clears throat> at least that's how I looked at it. Look, look at it. <clears throat> And then now think to a time when you feel, you know, just blah, you know, you, maybe you're hungover or you just ate the wrong food and you just don't feel good. What's happening there? And how are you looking at the challenges in your life then? You're like, fuck off. Like, I don't want any of this. I don't want to deal with this. I want everything served up to me on a silver platter. And there's a couple things going on here. One is you're not feeling up to the challenge. The other is I think a more fundamental thing, a more fundamental um, process in uh, the world, life, and just the universe in general. And that is those challenges are there to give you distance between what you think you want let me rephrase that why things are so hard is because you're you're not ready for them um, or because you're not willing to work through how hard they are I mean, it's, it's basic as that. You just don't want it enough. That's why they're so hard. And it allows for an element of choice. It allows you to be the deciding factor in your life. Because if they weren't so hard, if they were easy, your life would just become like this, like most people's lives are with drugs and television and addictions. And... Because they're not, like, had, had a place in themselves where they know any better than to just go after what feels good. And you just become a degenerate. Um, even more than that, you might get, like, stuck into a routine of something you think you want. Instead of, you know, being the chooser. Like, if you think about it, when you're in that lame, sort of, shitty mode of humanity that we've all been in and we all get into every once in a while, you are like, you would give anything just for, like, the good to come and find you, you know? Like, in a guy's example, you'd do anything, oh, for that hot girl to return your text message, or... You know, even though you don't deserve it. <clears throat> or, you know, for that dream job or career opportunity just to come and fucking find you. And, like, everything will just be hunky-dory. But flip the situation. What if you're feeling on fucking point? What if you're feeling like the man or the, the woman, whatever? What if you're there? What if life is so good for you? It just feels good. You're ready to face challenges. What do you think now? Um, it's like you don't care. You know, you just don't give a shit whether something comes to you or doesn't. Because you're willing to go work for it. You're willing to go get it, what you want. You're willing to go after it. 
make it happen, build something in your life, and choose it for yourself. Not be chosen by it. Or if something does come and choose you, you can be grateful for it and take it and enjoy it in that way. But you have that choice, the ability to make a distinction and choose what you want. So my goal, the goal of these videos, the goal of like the self-help industry, guru, spirituality, religion. Well, I don't know about religion. Sometimes religion. Is to put you in that state where you're ready to go and live your life. That's where we want you to be. I just farted. <laughs> I'm about to go to bed. I just had some Brussels sprouts. What? I should probably not from the Brussels sprouts. It's probably from something before. But. That's. Yeah. So. My wish for you is to be in that state as much as possible in your life. To enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.